This is the Bronx Project Podcast. I am your host, Miraz. And I'm your host, Earl Gray. Yeah, and it's your boy, Tron Sagas. Dun, dada, smooth. Hey. <laughs> I wish I had something that cool on Yeah. It. Uh, it's your boy, Miraz. <laughs> Make you niggas see less. Hey. hey. Bars. <laughs> Tron like Mike. I'm not going to do anything. Earl Grey. <laughs> Ooh, Earl Grey. Niggas thought I was gay. Don't play. They really did. <laughs> they did. You got to let them know. Yo, how many times did people yo, think I was gay in high school? They, I, 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 we had to tell people, tell them, like, yo, Jaws get girls is just not, he didn't want, you know, yeah. he was the end of the Kappa girls. Like, he was out there living his life. Yeah. He, like, Jaws out there doing his thing. And he had, you know, now he got fiance, yeah. but... You know, we were some we had some Back. weird times to count, bro. <laughs> Seriously, I, I remember the whole time everybody was like, "Josh, you sure you're not gay?" Yo. I'm like, "I'm sure I'm not gay." <laughs> I, I thought the, about it. The exact response he would get, like, "Yo, I'm, I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure, I'm I'm sure there's proof. You've seen proof. Come on, Yo, what the hell? I'm not over here like, hey, what's up, man? Let me suck your dick, right? <laughs> Yo, like, you know, you know, because we had people coming out like, you know, people we could tell like kind of were like femme, and then like, they're like, nah, but I'm straight, and then like I, yeah. we have a party or a dance and the dance with the guys, and like, right, hey, right. they said they were okay, right. and, you know. I feel but, like there's a like it's not politically correct to say, but you could tell. Yeah, I could like. I feel like you could tell. Like yeah. you could tell when someone's yeah. taking the uh, yeah. the steps towards right. And that's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you gotta yeah. say. Uh, but Josh, like with Josh specifically, Josh kind of the word I used for him was metrosexual because Josh that's exhibits. It. Josh a rock star. Yeah, yeah like, that's jo- what it is. It's, like no jokes. Josh fifteen sixteen yeah. used to paint his nails black. Rock used star. to wear eyeliner. I remember like, you've seen it. Yeah. I've had black nails. We used to sit at the fucking is, same table. Yeah, like if he was living in Wichita. That's like like they're That's like the all right, he's a rock star, right? But he's not, he's we doing in this the in the city, Bronx, right? During, during that the, time, yeah, what he's doing this in the Bronx, 2005, oh, 2006. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? That's the Dino Green baggy. Yeah, that was the hardest <laughs> shit. I had respect for Josh for that shit because right. like I couldn't do, I, I right. would not do that out here. Really, and Josh is like, yo, I'm out here in Crotona with with black nails and eyeliner. Say something. Do something. Yeah. yeah, I dare you. And no one did nothing. Like nothing did <laughs> Well, welcome to the Bronx Project Podcast. <laughs> that's how you get it started. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck with us. Yep. Uh, right. <laughs> so uh, we'll start with some beer. Right uh, now we're drinking Stella. some. Yep. Stella Artois. Stella Artois. Artois. It's a it's a Belgian beer. Yeah, I was about to say French, but you know me in geography. Belgian. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to the Swartz. Yo, she hated me. Today we found out that that there's 400 different types of of Belgian brands. That's serious. That's true. Yeah, that's od. Four hundred types of fucking Belgian brand I, beers I was in Belgium to, itself. I was trying to learn how to open a beer with a lighter because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like, I'm Dominican, but I don't know how to open a beer with a lighter. It just makes you happy. Like people in New York, I understand how that's weird, but people outside of New York, are like, what? Why does that matter? It's, Nig- it's, Dominican it's niggas can open you a beer with an eyeliner. Yo, <laughs> like with an eyelash. That. Like, like the niggas, niggas, yeah, niggas, like a boom. Like, how? <laughs> and me like me like if I don't have if I don't have a sharp corner or a bottle opener I'm fucked. It's over with. Yeah. So yeah. I, seriously, I kind of I kind of find it hard to explain to people that I'm Dominican. <laughs> Just because of that alone. Right. The level up is coming. Niggas don't believe me. They look at me. They're like, all right, open the beer then. <laughs> Here's the test. <laughs> Damn. Damn it. You got me. Yeah, bottle opener. No. 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 Uh, no. 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 Oye, papi, alo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, Stella Otois, you already know we've had this in the Bronx project earlier on. We've drank it, we drank it so many times because it's inexpensive and it's very accessible. So you can't Bro, go I wrong with it. $11 honestly, dollars on Corona last night. Yeah, eleven dollars on Corona. Bro, fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars, but that's a twelve pack. That's twelve pack. Six pack. fourteen. Yeah, that's what I mean. Come on. I went to- <laughs> He said, come on, Come man. on, like, why are you doing it? Because I, I I've been in Atlanta for six years, you know, like, the bear down there, like, you can get a 12-pack, 18-pack for, like, under 20, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Seriously? But, yeah. Well, bro, anything in New York that you're getting is more expensive tax than is real, yeah. you feel me? I've the been in New York a little too long. You know, yeah. so, so you, used to, you know how to navigate around it, you know, yeah. but, like, the IPA, I was trying to get the Victory IPA. Yeah, like, I've 14, had that. And I was like, for the six pack, I'm like, yo, <laughs> come on. You're like, chill. I'm just trying to get a little, little yeah, drinky drink. Yeah. Like, I just want six. Oh, I like, right, yeah. right. <laughs> but yeah. Stella's a wonderful bear. So. Yeah. yeah, that's hard out there. How is uh, Atlanta? Atlanta is everything you see on Love and Hip Hop and then some. Really? I, I, cause like, seriously. I, seriously, because a lot of people who like who, well, you know, the movement, you know, and the wave now, a lot of artists, like we talked about before, before we yeah. started, and a lot of artists, shout out to all the artists working out, working hard, going hard, but you know, Atlanta's the hobby right now. We got the Migos, shout out to Migos, all them people. You know, mama. Mama. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, so it's like, Atlanta is very, very notorious for the show me, not tell me thing. 
So like the the capping and, and flexing, that's a real thing. That's a theme. Yeah. You feel me? So like in New York, like we are fly, but individually in our own ways, and and across the board fly. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. That makes sense. You know, like how you no, talk about how jobs. You know, what I'm saying everyone has their own style, uniqueness. But we have a, have a common understanding of what is fly, or what is in, or is in. Yeah, so that's the style. Down there is more like a, everyone's trying to kind of figure it out still. But the sense of community is there. But it's into like fashion and like media. It's all about whoever's willing to set the trend and stick with that trend. Gotcha. And then people follow along. It's like, and in the beginning, it's kind of like, I don't, I'm not really rocking with this. And it's like, once everybody knows your name and saying your name, besides the people who don't know your name, people are saying your name, then everyone else wants to say your name. Yeah. Including people who were like in your corner beforehand, but not really rocking. So yeah. Atlanta, besides that, is cool. It's very scenic. It's mostly hot most times. They've been getting a couple, like, it's now starting to get to punch where they have a winter, actually. Yeah. Like the first winter we had three years ago when I was down there, it was mostly ice. So people were like, Scared to drive. It's like, <laughs> it like you ever seen the tweets like how like the Walmart would be like scavenge. That was real. They were going into the Walmarts and taking all really because it's fucking right? snowing yeah, for one day. They, they, they think it's forever. So I'm like, we bought, I, I did too. We bought we bought like I want to say an 18 pack of Miller something and a, some bottle of wine because I had like my homegirls with me and, and my roommates. Right. So we had bare wine, barely any food. You know, college life. You know, but like everyone you know everyone out there has a, a certain sense of just community. Community, but at the same time, it's like everyone's still trying to make it. So nah, and the, yeah, so in the scene is like everyone kind of knows each other, but like for a different reason. Right. And so it's like a common ground. So we're like, oh, I seen you here, seen you there. Because Atlanta's still small as a city compared to our compared to New York City. It's still yeah. small. So it's very easy to see somebody wants to see him again on the other side of the city. Yeah, that's right. how I feel about you know Philly. Right. Yeah, I've been to Philly a couple of times, and I feel like it's a lot different from New York. Over here in New York, everybody's like segregated. You there's. I'm like, people like to complain about that, but New York is a very segregated area compared to other cities where everyone, everywhere else, everyone's just together. And like, you, like you're mentioning about, you know, Atlanta, you know, so I respect that about other cities that are up and coming, especially new ones. But, you know, New York really needs to chill. I wouldn't say Atlanta's up and coming. I think it came. No, it's, it came. It came. But you, you have to agree that it's a movement yeah. at the moment. It's a resurgence. Yeah. yeah. Because the last, and besides, the, the music is a very strong catalyst for the resurgence. But the last, to me, from what I've seen, remember, they had Freaknik, who was like the, one of the biggest, like, block parties, if you will. Yeah. And that was a big deal for Atlanta. And they had the Olympics in 96. Mm-hmm. They haven't had anything like that since. So they're about to get the Super Bowl bid in 2019. Hopefully they fuck I didn't know that. Hopefully, yeah, that's why they made that new stadium. Yeah. Yeah, so it's crazy. So hopefully the Falcons get get that chance to right. go again. Yeah, but, Falcons always know, been a good team, yeah, too. Yeah, you know, gentrification's happening now and there. But, you know, the South is very... It's so funny, because when we went to school, you know, studying the Civil War and studying how industrialization in the North and how kind of like how agriculture in the South really affected the growth of those places, it still shows. Yeah. It still shows, because cotton still is king, tobacco still is king. In and, and yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah. dude, that's why yeah. that's anyway. why you can never get rid of cigarettes right. or anything that's because what, tobacco I was just saying that. tobacco $20 for some new ports? Exactly. <laughs> people are still going to buy them. <laughs> Yo, they took them out of CVS and people are still going to buy them yeah. because tobacco is probably the biggest, you know, profit in all of right. US. Yeah. It was, you know. That's how we make our money. Right. Yeah. That's that's one of our biggest products. Especially with cotton. How right. what's your shirt made of? What your shirt Most made of? Arms, you know, cotton. Like, the poly, you know, the poly. There's some poly, high. yeah. But you know, I poly. I need the cotton. <laughs> Am I the only one who has a wool shirt on? Yo, yeah, I guess. Might be. <laughs> Might be, man. I got the wool jacket, you know. Nah, fuck out so, I, got the, I got the Nike dry fit. Fuck ooh, out exactly. Ooh, never, never, ooh, never, ooh, never. Ooh, dry fit. When you <laughs> sweat, you don't even know. I don't sweat, nigga. Fuck <laughs> pretty much. I've seen you sweat. You sweat. I sweat a lot. <laughs> so it's interesting to see that and how the coats are because, like, I still try to, like, I'm a big proponent of, you know, the past. You know, kind of press us with the present in the future. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I was just talking about this the other day with a couple of my friends, and like, I like, you know, all the stuff we're doing is not, not most of it not original, but it's being re, redone and upgraded in my yeah, opinion. right. You know, so we're in remake. We yeah, culture. remake like remake is like you know you do a video game and it came out for our system. Now we're doing it better for this system. Right. You know? Yeah, exactly. You know, so a lot of things like even with Trump, you know, as much as we sit here and we, and we have the the complaints, we've seen this before. We've been here yeah. with people, our families have, have seen some like this before with their with their with their presidents. Man, right. may not to this degree of having this right. most this openness to speak however he wants to, which is really to me really baffling. Like even right. with like the president before, but like other than that, it's like we've seen people who have tried to 
do things for other reasons when they're in power. You right. know, most yeah. people come in with a sense of I'm um, trying to make the make the the free world better. So we're like, yo, we need to get this money money together. You know what I'm saying? Or so True on that. so forth. To say, I like to say that, like uh, personally. I would say Donald Trump is Hitler if Hitler had to navigate around political correctness. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that. I like like that. if if Hitler had to worry about what he tweeted being like like a, PC crazy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He'd be PC as fuck. PC yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like those fucking Jews. They're yeah. like, they're, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know. <Yeah. laughs> no, we don't know. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yo, you, you know, know. You, you know. know. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and that's what it is. He don't have to do it. His filter is not there, and it's like, but that to me is a testament to the time we are in. So like, you're trying to tell me that Hitler is would be a smarter president than Donald Trump? I think. I don't. I don't. I think Hitler was smarter than Donald Trump. I think Hitler had the background of of a of a government and military and all that shit. Yeah. Um, Donald Trump has no political background, so by that, by that, you you gotta give it to Hitler. I mean, you gotta be smart to say. You gotta be a smart guy to convince a, a whole, whole population, population that yes. Jews are bad. Yo, yeah. like a whole. He was like, "Is there a fault?" Like if you, straight up was like, "Is there a fault?" Yeah. And yeah. Hey, Donald it, Trump was really like, like uh, like he just convinced real stupid people. To vote for him, Hitler right. had like a whole country. There was the intelligent people. There was the dumb people. Yeah, everyone was but just the behind facts. them. They were just like, "Yo, you right, yo, fuck these yeah. niggas." I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, like, I am tired of being broke. You right. Like, you right. Why are these people taking away my money? Yeah, like how I, how we fix this? Where I sign up at? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you come over here. We put a band on your arm and now. And then you, you burn them up. Burn them up. Burn them up. <laughs> right, we're gonna send them to concentration right, we gonna, camps. We gonna focus on them. You gonna let you live your life for real? All right, you that know, man was evil. Was like, like Donald Trump tried it. He was like, "Yo, we gonna muzzle him back." We was like, "Nah, bro, nah, we not rocking." Right, he, came in, he came in. Come out. He's still talking about, "Yo, I'll let y'all slide out immigration if we b- make border control tighter." Yeah. So pre- pretty much, if we still do the wall, yeah, yeah. I'll let the immigration slide. Like, no, like, bro, we not making no wall. Like, bro, yeah, that's fucking we're crazy. Not making the wall. Bro. That's fucking crazy. How you gotta negotiate politics? Like, it's a negotiation. How do you negotiate the well being of a human being? Yeah. I mean, everything, the thing is that it's supposed to be like that. It's we, supposed we to be checks, like you just yeah. said, checks and balances. Yeah, checks they and balances. They just navigating around that shit real smooth. Right. You know, right. they, they hit us with the, like, we, we, we try to fight net neutrality. Yeah. I think Ooh. everyone as a whole was like, yo, we're not doing this. We don't like net neutrality. And they were like, no, 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 no. But we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, like, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. happen. It's, yeah. like, it's, it's like, okay, we're trying to show you, like, we're going to do this, but, like, you could protest it if you want, but... It's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And for me, it's like, damn, it's like we got, so you have so much freedom of speech where they're like, yo, y'all have too much say in what y'all want to talk about. We have to stop this. Yeah. That's how I feel. Like with Twitter, Instagram, man, like oh, Snapchat, it's like they, you know, NSA, the only place like have the right to see. You know, since the Patriot Act, since the 9 11, they have the right to see yeah. this stuff. But it's like we're gonna blatantly just put a whole, put a like expression on it, just because we need to. You know what? Like this is a. Uh this is probably a little a little troubling to say, but I think the problem with Twitter is that everyone got a voice. Yes, you. That's not troubling. And I feel like that, that's feel what like it is. Everyone shouldn't have a voice, bro. Well, <laughs> you got 140 characters to speak your yeah. mind all the time. Now they for up free that shit, bro. To 280. They, yeah, they all up. the really? time for some yeah. people. For some people, because I've yet. still got 140. Yeah, not, they not don't, everyone yet. I'm but trying to put some hashtags in there. And they're <laughs> like, nah, bro. Trump got it. Yeah, Trump got 280. Trump be like, yeah, we go with a whole paragraph. Essays on yo. They should they should legit lower his shit. To like ten, <laughs> <laughs> we need the poets to talk and speak his mind. Keep Twitter going. Twitter stock has to be going up because it is now. Because of course, it has to because there's a point in time where Twitter was dwindling because of Snapchat. Yeah, like, I wasn't know? using Twitter right. until like recently. Until exactly. I was like, I guess the t- I guess the president knows how to tweet. Right. I gotta I start to learning. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't be behind again. this guy. You know, seriously. You know, and the age of technology is just like it's so fascinating yet so a little bit terrifying because it's like we're developing so fast. Might be like the sex bots. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, I'm I a feel big about sex bots. I, 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 all right, personally, for me, I wouldn't purchase sex bots because one, the price, and two, like, it, this is, no matter how many issues we may have as men and women, we're not perfect as human beings, right. you know, nah. as yin and yang. Right. You need something to balance you out. The, but given the Me Too movement and, time, and time, Time's Up movement, I think, in theory, if used properly, it could help alleviate the, the probability of rape being so high. Right. For the people, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't think about it that way. That's because, actually really thoughtful. Right? Because the thing, I agree. Because the thing is, it's like, when you think about it, it's like, these men who are assaulting people, who are assaulting women, men, period. It's like, yeah. it, when you go back to their cases and you look in their court cases, it's like, there's a mental element to them to why they're doing that most times, you know? 
So if 3K can stop them from hurting women right. and hurting people in real life, right. I mean, so be it. Right. But now this is going to be what but given to who we are as people, that's not the case. The case is that they want to be able to do this when they want, how they want, and not be told what they want. Yeah. You know, and, and that is what it is. You know? <laughs> um, like I, I agree. I think I think there are certain people who have uh inclinations. Right. Um there's like a like the argument that was made, I forgot I forgot where, but the pedophilia is in your your de- like you can't it's control it. It's a, it's a, it's it's a you know, uh, human. So there are instinct. people like the people who are pedophiles, they don't know how to not be pedophiles. Right. You know? So maybe it's to say like I've never raped anyone. You've never raped anyone, I'm so you know, no? like yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I don't know what it's yeah. like. Yeah. I don't but, remember. But I, like maybe there are people who who cannot resist the urge, right? And I'm not saying that like, oh, you know, feel empathy for fuck them people, but maybe the, the a bot? sex maybe a sex bot can help alleviate like that. yeah, maybe maybe he, he fucks uh Britney the bot real quick. And then he goes outside and he's like, ah, uh, you know, like he just expended his nut. Like, yeah, he so he's not talk. thinking about that no more. Like, he's like, you know what? I'm going to go get this like this. I mean, chopped cheese and call it a night. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not going to lie to you. Like, think about That's think, genius. Yeah. Yo, think about this. When you bust a nut, what's the next thing you're thinking about? Sleep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Chilling. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> well, well, one, why am I, why did I do this? Oh, uh, shit. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Why like, did this? Oh, uh, this is gross. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about this afterwards. Oh, but afterwards, it's like, I'm chilling. You know, I'm not going to think about anything sexual for the next, like, you know, right. 20 minutes, maybe. At least. At yeah, least. at that's, least. And that's a smooth window. But it's and that something. smooth window right. could have been the window that you could have raped somebody. Right. <laughs> right. Rape, rape happens all oh the time. God. And it's not, to say, this. it's not to say that we don't, you know, we take the, ser- the issue seriously, but it's like, there are things that we ignore as a people. People yeah. And, yeah. and kind of brush under the rug because of like politics to handle this or size to handle this out and, yeah. and remedy this. People are gonna do what people want to do. Yeah, we're just human beings. We that's have the- we have free thought, and that's what I feel like is the struggle. Is like what you said, what you said with politics and checks and balances. Is like yes, they have the right to to delegate our life and what we do, but it's based on our choices. Yeah, and what we tend to do, and it creates trends and like patterns. They're trying to they'll try to remedy that to make it better to where we're seen in a better light or it's more conducive to what they want to see for a society that they're right. trying to build. Yeah. You know, and that's just the um the key to and it's not I don't think it's ever gonna be race or like that. It's just human human nature and how someone thinks. I got a question. Feel. How do you account for that? How do you account right. for yeah. human nature? Well, I'm a, I have a question. Do you think do you think the new trend of sex bots will replace women? No, absolutely nah. not. I think I don't uh, think so either. But I just want to. I thoughts. will say it will bring us closer to women. Yeah, yes, we want yes. affection, and, I'm a, and the no, robots yeah. can't yes. bring that. Yes, yeah, I got yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. That point thing, I, I don't like that. <laughs> it's right in your eye. <laughs> so women, for sure. That's what I thought. Like, um, people don't try to men. I don't say people. Men don't like to admit it. But we need affection lacking. like everyone else does, yeah. bro. We try to be cold and hard, but we need yeah, intimacy. Like, yeah, you know? and that's what I feel like. The only thing Sexbox is gonna gonna uh, highlight is that it's that, right? Like the fact that all right, we gonna fuck. We, I'm gonna bust my nut, and that's it. And then that's it. And then you're just gonna be there, cold and lifeless. It's and like upgraded, you wanna, it's upgraded masturbation, pretty right, much. And eventually, you'll be like, "Yo, so how you feel?" And you'll be like, "I feel good, John. How you feel?" Like, ah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I'm not fucking me. Call me, call my ex though, because this right. is not working no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow, you I'm like, yo, but like I love you at first, but then like after uh, like uh, ten, three weeks, you're like. Who are you? Right. Like, <laughs> can you see into my soul? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can you provide me that love that I need from another woman? Can you have my babies? No. <laughs> nah. I need to spread my seed. Yeah, I got All you're doing get, is keeping my seed. You know, so good at Sarah Thank you, my brother. Us. So, I, I think there's going to be some weird stuff going on in the next couple of years with this. With this. I'm going to see, we'll see, see a lot of artists. We're going to see artists with that shit in their videos. Yes. You know, Seriously. Yeah, we're going to. <laughs> because we're, we're going to. We're going to see a lot of that because of the flex, though. Because it's worth a lot of money. Right. Um, right. It's a good advertisement, but number two, that's gonna totally replace like fucking hip hop girls, right? And that's what I'm about to say. And to me, it's like that is taking away a job in a lane, but expectation once again is getting diminished, it's getting right. reduced because of that. So right. I mean, it may not be the greatest scene to see sex box shaking their booty, but I mean, to the artist, man, you know, said it's cool. He might find some animation, some editing to where it look like it's yeah, man, it's new. Yo, that's gonna be a whole nother job field. Right. Animation for sex bots right. in hip hop videos. We said, you heard that's it here it. first on the Bronx Project. Remember that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere right. else, you heard it here between us. All right. right. Predicted the future. This is right. like the Simpsons. Simpsons did it. Yeah. Simpsons yeah. did it. Fifteen <laughs> percent up front. <laughs> right. Seriously. I need it. I need it. <laughs> 
You feel me? So it, we live in some interesting times, and I'm gr- grateful and blessed to be alive for these times because we are carving out the future for our for our kids, it's, for our grandkids. It's the best time to be the alive. Best time to be alive. Yeah. Like, like okay, okay. Uh, when what you a time it, to be alive. When what you look at it, you you complain about things, and and I'm not saying obviously I'm a min- we're all minorities Facts. here, uh, and we're not gonna take anyone's right to protest to complain about anything. There are justifiable complaints, uh, but if you think about it. We weren't having a conversation about rape culture twenty years ago. Niggas was just raping. Like it wasn't yeah. even called rape. Nah. It was just like I'll give you a roofie at the at the party. It is what it is. And it is what it is. Part, we partied. Yeah. We, we, yeah she partied too hard. It's party. Yeah, yeah, we partied too hard. You know, uh Bill Cosby now is a demon. Bill Cosby then he was just partying. Yo, we went through fifty years as men being a savior to him turn into a demon at the end of his end of his life. God bless him, you know, yeah. saying, but like, God forbid, but like this thing about the he's in his nineties, somehow like, now he's like now we're like, yes, yeah, get him. Now we're figuring he's, out he's that vulnerable. He let's 50, get him. Yeah. 52, 53 women. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you like know. at least 12, bro. Like, <laughs> he, got, he did, did not like to, you, you know, Will Tomo, he hit hundreds, you know, he's like, yeah, I know, thigh, thigh gappers or whatever. I, was I like, mean, well, it was dismissed the court, so we yeah, can't technically right. say that he raped those women. Um, I, I mean, these narratives, man. I don't, like, the problem is, uh, it's, it's the, uh, it's so fucking, this, like, the middle ground is so shaky. Right. Because, I I know uh, women say and you know as men it's weird like it's weird to to take because we're not women so yeah. we don't know truly right but the thing is that there are women who lie about about rape people lie period yeah yeah people like, lie yeah people lie know, yeah of course because it could have very well not because job it could very well have been like she might have been in a way assaulted if I drop away and someone else been like yo who what who was it and now whole scenario being painted to help her because in her mind she don't know what to do and someone else who might have seen the genuine intent to help. Has mild intentions, right. and now we have an old rape case drawn up, yeah. and that's yeah. how, and that's kind of how it goes, and that's something happens with the law. The law kind of like baits you and say anything because you don't know how you really feel, yeah. you don't know what's going on, but you know you don't feel right. Right, seriously, as one, yeah. as one closure, you know, and these, that's the thing. It's like we, like once again, as human beings, we have you know our emotions can get the best of us, but it's like, like I said, that time when you're not rational, you're not really full at the fullest capacity of logic and thought, anything could be. Said to you in the right way to make it sound sound good. Like, yeah. uh, for instance, I've had personally happened to me uh, situations where I was talking to a girl and I didn't give her the re- the response she she Desired. wanted, and she uh, like the her uh, her thought process after that was like, oh, I'm gonna tell your girl you cheated on her. Oh man, like you know what I mean? She- so like, like like in with, with <laughs> that was my a, that was a big thing. Yeah, yeah, like, I with my knowledge, like I know people lie, and I know men lie, but the thing is, uh. Women are, and I love the. I love women unity. I right. really do. Because I know for I, I do. I do believe that women were attacking each other way too much before. I love women unity, but now it's become. It's coming to the point where like, like women are pretending that women don't lie, and that's that's unhealthy. Yo. That's unhealthy because because everyone lies. Yes, like that's actually time, true. true. Yeah, every time a woman says something, like no, 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 she's right. But okay, just. Think about maybe like look this at the big, look at the facts, look, look at the story, right? And totally, make, and then after that we make our our minds right. up. Exactly. But the moment any like any woman opens her minds up, I think uh, a legion of women like yes, right. Let's protect her. And I'm and listen, me too, girl. And again, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hashtag exactly. me too. And again, <laughs> it's to like it's not obviously it happens. So I understand the need to like when you, when someone speaks out about it, you're like yes, it's happened to me, so I empathize with her, but you. You but it's not the same. Into, you have to take account. into consideration right. human error. You got to take into consideration people lie. Because you could be hurting other lives by yeah. saying, yeah. by agreeing exactly. with something that's not fully true yeah. or not fully correct. Exactly. You could be, and that's what it is. Because like that's one of those. The one thing about a sexual harassment, and sexual assault, is a lingering effect that dominoes down. Because for instance, like you know that happens, and now there's a a blemish on a person's life yeah. Yeah. Turn, forever. Yeah, you know, for they gotta register. You know, they gotta really, and that hurts them because, like, no matter how good of a person they could be, they made that mistake. Yeah, yeah. you know, and once it's yeah. down there, and us against the sponge is on there. And it's, yeah, it's, seriously. You know, and that hurts. It's the weird thing. It's the weird thing to come to terms with because, like, it goes back to you know a couple of weeks ago, uh, Erica Badu. Uh, she said that that she saw good in Hitler, right? And they were, the and the interviewer told, got mad. Yeah, people told her because the 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 person who was interviewing her was was a Jewish man. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. okay, he was tight. Yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, excuse he me, was hot. I was like, yeah, yeah, he was a Jewish man. So like, what he was, 
to, Dude, to him, that's crazy. she's saying some wild shit. To him, uh, it's like like if a uh, if a woman who was raped sees uh, another woman coming forward, and and then that then she sees a man saying, "Nah, she wasn't raped. She could be lying." It's the same kind of wildness. All right. Yeah. So he was looking at her like, "Yo." Are you, are no. you serious? Are you like, crazy? Are you, are you, are you, are you, you okay? I, I would have paused it, like, put my mic away. But then like, there is. You sure you want to see this? <laughs> we can stop right here if you want. To yeah. I'm going to let you, you think tired? about what you just yeah. said. Yeah. You tired? What's you need a five-hour energy? Yeah. Like, we, <laughs> we can edit this out. I just want to know, like, are you high? <laughs> you didn't mean that, right? You didn't mean that, right? <laughs> oh, you did. Prison, so what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I know, but no, nah, and that's what it is, and that's. But that is the forward thinking that we need is because, like I said, it's the narrative or it's something that we we didn't once have. Yeah, it's kind of kept yeah. closed behind doors, kind of like you know, bedroom talk, pillow talk, or like kind of like in the house, you know, just to keep sure keep the family in a same mindset or understanding of how y'all view things or how the family view things. Yeah, but as a people. And us, and us being more worldly now because we have things that connect us internationally. And it, like not how once before was like we kind of only can like interact with America, Americans unless we go somewhere. It's like Instagram yeah. can take me from here to Brazil and back and forth. You know what I mean? True that. Like Tinder, all that, all that can take us anywhere we want to go to where I can meet people of different of cultures. And reality is, our narratives are not the same. Yeah, the narratives are not the same. So for Erica I do to sit there and really be like, yo, I saw good in somebody. A Jewish man of his stature probably be like, yo, you're a wildin'. But that is coming from two different places, Come, yeah. coming from two different walks of life. Yeah. And she has a place in her heart now to where whatever went on in her life, she's like, I still see good in people because you don't know what tri- what tribe she went to. But as a Jewish man, he's like, that to me is something that's like, can never be undone. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And those type of conversations that we don't want to have because we don't want to hurt someone's feelings, someone's toes, but for us to progress, the type of conversations need to happen so we can really understand how everyone feels. Yeah. yeah. How do you uh how do you feel about to to take that take that uh train of thought a little further, like we were just talking about about Bill Cosby. Uh same thing with uh uh Bill Simmons. Uh men who were who were convicted not convicted, they were uh, accused of rape. Accused, yeah. And mm-hmm. uh by today's standards I do believe that they did that they did rape. Uh, yeah. By like, today's standard. Like, like, but the thing rape. is, I don't think that while they were doing it, they, it they was, were thinking, oh, this rape. is rape and right. I am enjoying the fact that this is rape. Right. You is know? that a good thing or a bad thing that people aren't like necessarily realizing so it's, whether it's this both. is a good thing or a bad it's thing? It's both. It's a bad thing because obviously it means that there's, there needs to be awareness. Yeah. Right. It's, a, it's a good... Uh, it's, uh, it's weird to say it's a good thing. But... Are you a bad person if you did a bad thing unintentionally? That's a great question. To that's ask. a crazy you know? question. You blew so my good. mind. And that's the question that we need to be asking. Yeah. Because like, 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 yeah, Nate Parker. Do you know who Nate Parker is? I'm familiar. He made a uh, Birth of a Nation. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. Uh, he gotcha. was accused exactly. in college of raping a woman, and uh, by he raped her. He did, uh, but he didn't think he did. Oh, uh, by definition, of what yeah, happened? By definition, right. he got convicted of it. Was it assisted rape or was it? Was it, it was he and his boy. Uh, I think she was drunk, and I think. Oh, I knew, I knew yeah. something. I, I remember. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so like, yeah. I, like he did. He had his, he had his moment, and that, and that, you know. Yeah, and I moment. think, I think he was drunk or something. So like in his head, it was, it was uh, like it was good, or maybe like in that's what he said. Maybe he he could be lying. You know, you can't you can't say oh can't women could be lying and then say oh men. Don't what he said either. is true. Right, right. He could be lying. He could have raped her and said like he didn't think it was rape. But if we're to take him at his word. If you don't, I don't, I don't know. Like it's still a wrong thing, obviously. You obviously, still, I think you now took someone's choice away yeah, from them. I think uh, now that we can establish that is wrong. Right, but right. back then, that's, that's my in point. their mindset, that's my point. was it wrong to them or was it wrong to the other person, yeah. to the woman that he raped? Right. Was it wrong to her? Was, did she wake up the next morning and like, well, that was yeah, she, pretty yeah, shitty. She did. She did. Um, and like I said, like, I don't think he was right in the situation, but I don't think that he knew that he wasn't right in the situation. And the reason for that is that. Admittedly, feminists are right. Men yeah. were not held to a very high standard for a very long time. Yo, they, for a very long time, men were allowed to do whatever the fuck they wanted. They let us do whatever they wanted yeah. because I, I, I would say either two things: fear or just social norms. Yeah, it was just social. Like, it was men a social norm, norm that men boys. were just boys allowed would to do those. Te- yeah, uh, right. boys, boys would, would be boys. Men yeah. would, yeah. would be men. Men oh, would be men. well, he slapped me in the face. You know, marriage yeah. Yeah. or. Yeah. <laughs> I pissed him off. You know, men get upset. Yeah, right. I should have known. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like, 
Like, <laughs> exactly. Nah, what? Nah, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we're in 2018, so you, the three of us, we know that. Mm-hmm. The three of, we know Josh has been goddamn fucking married for five years. Six years. Six, Six years. years. Strong. I, yeah, I used to say seven. And now I, I lowered it down to five. But you, I mean, you don't I, even know where you yeah. are. <laughs> it's been, it's been six. there. It's, it's been time. so long that I feel like that I lose count sometimes. Yeah, that's my point. Shit. My point is, you've never like you're you're a you're more of a modern man. I'm a modern man. I'm a I'm a classic man. man. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, think uh, yeah, no, I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the five seconds, we good. I'm tired of Drake suing us. <laughs> Yo, oh. We really we we did a we did a parody of uh, uh, passion, passion juice. fruit. A passion fruit. We call it we passion, call it passion juice, juice, and we, we did our a parody it's about of nothing it. too fast. Right? Yeah. This song about nothing too fast. We joke. Like I said, I'm a I'm a failed rapper. Nah, I feel rapper. Like, <laughs> you didn't even start. Yeah. Even yeah. That's what I mean by failed rapper. Right. Like I'm an unattempted rapper. Like right. uh, those who know me know that I I enjoy rhyming words. Right. Um, I don't know how how posi- like how sure I am of myself in the delivery of said words. So I don't know if I would want to rap. But I like making music. Right, that's all that matters. Uh, so I do parody. Like that's that's the yeah, middle ground. You know what I mean? like, yeah. that's, it's the middle ground. Uh, that's the fun middle ground. Yeah, that's the fun little middle ground where it's like uh, I rhyme words and sometimes I rhyme, I rhyme and I rhyme well, uh, but it's not taken seriously because it's parody. Right. So that's the middle ground where I feel comfortable. It's in. taking lighting so you don't have to think, be harshly critiqued in your yeah, music. Yeah, exactly. But it still has that style and it has that that technique. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Because what? Because we remember Word Out had it was on a tear. That's yeah. why I said Word Out did it. <laughs> on a fucking tear. Bro, yo, lonely, great. lonely Island did it for mad that's years. The thing. Like I think personally, like I, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty self confident. I think I could be better than both of them Definitely. if I'm being honest. In parody. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. ain't too many though. And look, <laughs> Lonely Island came in and they got Grammy nominated real quick for right. one boat. So you Grammy figure, nominated you parody, figure. right? Anyways, Josh, the, Josh, we've done we've done like three parodies we that we recorded, pa- right? Yeah, it passed those parodies juice, within, uh, XO, within Barista Life. You already know what that is. In one hour, one? in less than an hour, we, we uh, it was a rock star parody. Uh, for, yeah, for yeah. Post for Post Malone. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so wait, Drake found out or like what happened? It's, no, his record label. We posted on YouTube and oh, Universal no. Music Group. Get, get it yeah, off. Yeah, get it, it off. off. Yeah, I was like, but it's a parody and it's only like a minute long. Yeah, we didn't use none of the words. We just used the beat. The beat. Yeah. We used hours. the beat and the beat was like slightly off by and he still a few it? BPMs. Yeah. Yo, YouTube not playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. YouTube not playing, bro. YouTube this is, sound like. <laughs> yeah, it's the algorithm that YouTube makes and it's like, wait a minute. They're not playing so much that we, like a week after Passion Juice, we did the, the 12 Days of Christmas, but we, like, you know, parody. 12 Days of Dixmas. Yeah, it was and a, they try to hit us. It was they, about your girl giving you 12, 12 gifts of 12 sex. Gifts, uh, 12 sexual these gifts. These are awesome concepts. Bro, yeah. yeah these, are, uh, these are really we, good concepts. Yeah, it only takes us, like, 10 minutes. We gotta find another platform if you gotta do this on it. And, you know, like, in the, like, just to give you a taste of it, you know, like, five golden rings. Like, yeah. ours is five cock, cock rings. rings. Hey. You know, like, <laughs> see, nah, we can, we going to the top with this one. <laughs> going to the top. Every time we Power do it, we're 105 like, one. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do it, we're like, we made a masterpiece here. Right? We made that's, a masterpiece. And that's what I, that's what it's about. And man. they, yo, bro. So so we recorded that. We put it up, and they try to hit us with with a copyright claim on a song that wasn't even that song. That's how much they're not playing. Damn. We're like, yo, you wrong. It's not even the same song. Yeah. It's literally not the same song. It's completely different. It's like you metal song. Yeah. No, nah, they. Uh, he fought it. And then they were like, all right, whatever. We'll they they let the video rock. Yeah, we'll, but the thing is... Well, you have to fight it. They're, they're now collecting all of uh, monetization. So yeah. all that money you make them. goes to them. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, on YouTube. Anyway. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. no, no, no. They're doing no, that. So no. I, but YouTube is like that, bro. YouTube takes all your money. Uh, you know how they say YouTubers make a lot of money? Yeah. Most of that is from ad, uh, from uh, yeah, sponsorships. sponsorships. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that yeah. ad money, that's YouTube's money. Yeah. That The view money... That's, that's YouTube's, YouTube's money. That's going to YouTube. We not give like you a platform to put it out. Yeah. Not like two, yeah. three years ago. And if ago someone likes it and wants to give else. you a sponsorship for that, then you could keep that money. Because yeah. between you and the, spon- yeah. and the company. Exactly. Or the person. Different company. Right. But anything else, like, now nah, we want to Anything YouTube related, we, we need to... Because we yeah. of, of us, you're getting that cut. Yeah. And, that's, and that brings back to the point about the whole industry is like, you know... A lot of people in the industry, like, did, you know, or people who are up and coming, like myself, you know, like, I don't think it might be failed, but it's like, what can deter you, what can really hurt you is just understanding of how business works yeah. and ethics. And a lot of people who are young, you know, they don't really truly understand 
how cutthroat it is, you know, and they kind of get deterred or, you know, really, like, disappointed because it's like, damn, I did this hot song, but now the people in the parties that be or the powers that be are taking up, putting their hands in my pockets. Yeah, Why yeah. is it happening to me? Like, because, yes, you created this is a piece of art. You created this creative uh, process, but the process of making it mainstream, making it commercial, it takes other parties, and it takes money. Right. Yeah. You know, so it's sad that what you guys are doing, what we are doing as just creatives, as people just being creative, get taken to such a far level to where it's like, when it gets to the part of money, it gets all skewed. Yeah. yeah. It's all blurred. It's like, you know, Dave Chappelle made Comedy Central 500 million, and, and in turn, him 10? They, offered, they offered him 10. They offered I, him 50 million. I was like, Yo. bro, <laughs> when y'all ever seen 500 mil? Please tell me. Like, like, I'm, like, I'm like, let's go through your fiscal year. Sometimes you see 500 mil. Some people are like, oh, nah, they offered him 50 million still. Like, it's, you That's know, a lot. It's a lot, still, but, but, nah, but he made him 500. 50 yeah. versus like, I make you 500. 500. You're gonna have to give me yeah. at least 150. No, no, no. I, I won't take the full half. I understand it's a corporation, yeah. but you're not low balling me with 10. During that time, who was popping? They had Reno 911, South Park. Like, yeah, and that's it, pretty yeah. much. But Dave Chappelle Dave was Chappelle taking over the was world. Right. Comedy Central, right? Exactly. I think they try to hit you with the Mind of Mencia. They try to hit you with the Key and Peel. They try to throw so many. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Literally, everywhere. I love Cole I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I love his comedy. But until I, like, I mean, yeah. until but you know, Rogan bad. decided, hey, you're stealing my jokes. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. and then they. Then he his career ended right there. Like, well, got gotta go. Yeah, he was like, well, I'm gonna take my money and live with it. That's it. Like, like, <laughs> that's it. It is a business, and and that that's good advice for anyone who wants to jump in that business. You know, Josh and I are trying to do it from a media. You trying to do it from an artist perspective. Right. You know, Josh is also trying to do it from an artist perspective. I do I it in every. I'm uh, like facet. Bro, I'm on all cores of this. I'm what DPing this whole media. But you shit. gotta, you gotta double penetrate. You yeah, gotta, I got yeah. DPing yeah. everywhere, yeah. man. Yeah. And I'm respect the respect and report. Two, uh, two in the pink, one in the stink. stink. Yeah, right. man. Yeah. Like, bro, yeah, think about it, it's that's like, media. Unless you know for a certain, which most times you don't, for a certain that what you're about to do and whatever field you choose is going to be that polarizing. You want to start from the ground up. Yeah. And if you don't have that built to withstand the storm and the weather. And get back up and get knocked down, or yeah. go two steps and to, to go ahead and go one step forward. It's not for you. Yeah. So for yeah. you to, but for you to have that vision to see through that and find the other avenues and the other outlets, that's what makes you more polarizing. It gives you a chance to be that part because you're like, I'm gonna find a niche for me to take on and make mine to show everybody my full artistry. Yeah, you know, and they, you know, this is not the end all be all. But you gotta get that out, that's that a in, fact. That's that a in. Fact. You know. Um. But I want to ask y'all. So like, given the the, the I guess they're saying it's opioid crisis, or it's like a you know a crisis with the drugs going on. How do you feel about like the artists now and the lean stuff and stuff like that, and like the Twenty Seven Club, you know? Well, what I see in the whole lean stuff is that well, drugs. Everyone goes by by drugs, you know. People yeah. smoke weed. People drink. You know, yeah. I I drink. Steve, you know, you smoke weed when you drink, and all the time. Everyone has their habits. Everybody, he'll open it for you. Everyone has their little habits. But the thing is, the opioid crisis is, I feel like it's crazy because that shit is government made. Yes. yes. It's government made. Like, that is, it's legal because our government made those drugs for us to consume in case that we need to feel bad about it. But the thing about it, they knew, I feel like inside that they knew that it'll be addicting as fuck. Because it's addicting as fuck. It's more addicting than any drug that I've ever seen in my entire life. And that's why it's a crisis. That's why it's an opioid crisis. Mm-hmm. And the fucked up shit is, it was handed to us on a silver platter. It's, it's, like, to us. it's like, hey, you got health care? We got, we got your drugs. Come over here. Don't, you know, we're going to make marijuana illegal, even though it has better benefits than everything in the world. But you can take the, you know, you can take these, you know, Oxycontins. You can go and, you know, get cough medicine. But the thing is, people who started wanting that high more and more and more. Right. So I, uh, it's crazy. It's really crazy how addicting it can be and how fast it can happen and how many lives it can take, especially what's happening in, you know, in Detroit and places like Michigan, you know, rural areas. And I mean, not rural areas, uh, you know, urban areas like New York, you know, in Michigan, especially because a lot of people who don't have homes and stuff. And it's like, all right, so well, I'm sad. Right. The best thing to do is, you hey, die. let's take drugs so it that I can forget about the right. shit. Right. So it's crazy. And I like I agree with you. And to take it a step further, I I think there's a lot of evidence that, that the consumption of drugs is over time bad for you. But this like you I'm not one to tell anyone what to do with their lives. True. At all. You understand? Yeah. Like like I can't tell you I smoke weed 
because and I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but like I smoke weed because I have like uh, anxiety and depression, and at one point it was so crippling that I had trouble sleeping. Oh, you know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. But now, like, and, and it, uh, smoking weed helps me with all that. But at one point, it's just like sometimes I'm stressed out and I just want to smoke a blunt, like you know. Yeah. That's understandable. And, like, can I'm, you tell I'm me? No? You. Like, you know, like my my mom found out recently, and she's like, uh, like I'm 25 years old, but my mom would, would swear up and down I'm 15. Right, right. So my mom found out recently. She's like, oh, I don't want you doing that, blah blah blah. Anyone who knows Dominican parents, no, they don't fuck with that weed shit. They nah, rather of you, course not. They rather you be a, a stone cold alcoholic than to we smoke bud once. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously, yeah, that's like a gateway or something else. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, nah, mom is hitting the blunt. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I, like, I'm that's how I tell like, yo. I'm in my room, bro. I'm in my. I'm smoking a blunt. I'm watching the next game. I might jack off a little. All right, you definitely and then I'm a knock, this game. Then I'm going to knock out. You can't jack off at the next game, though. All right. I mean, you probably could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or even watching it. That's kind of weird. You know, you're watching the next game. You're like, bro. Mm. Pozingas hit, <laughs> Pozing hit that three from 40 yes. feet out. Ooh. Uh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> that T-Mac. That yeah. T-Mac. <laughs> That's not... Like, my point is... Yeah... Uh, fucking, we had we got a problem with, with, with there's a drug epidemic, yeah, and it course. has been for a long time. It of was, course, it was uh, cocaine, it was heroin, it was crack. It's uh, um, it's Adderall now. All right, it's Zannies now. Uh, it's pills, it's prescription pills. Yeah. yeah, yeah, drugs. But like, like I don't know. I feel like at at one point we gotta let people be people. Yeah, it sucks. It, uh, overdose sucks. Yeah, I feel like the most we can do as a society is warn people of the the. the just help them understand. Yeah, like understand what can happen if you right. do this. But Give if them. you are not hurting anyone, if you're not shoving a zany in someone's mouth, I have a hard time telling you that you can't take a zany. Right. You know, like right. I, I can tell you. Hey man, it's a hey, good hey yeah, don't don't do too much of it. Don't do this and yeah, that. You know, you know what can go wrong. Yeah, because yeah. the thing is, being people. You can you can't force somebody to stop. I don't anything. know your demons, bro. I don't Yo, know your exactly. demons, and I don't know what you need. And if I know to, your to demons, I can't technically tell you. I can't technically force you to stop doing that because that's your own way of life. That's coping. your choice. That's right. yeah. that's your own way of life yeah. of coping with everything. I can help you. I can give you some you know some advice, but at the end of the day, you're gonna do what you want to do. You're gonna do what you have to do to get by, or you know if you like, that's just you know something it's you do. A, to anyone who's listening to this, uh, who may be like anti, anti like we per se, smoking weed, and I think Josh, Josh has known me since I was nine. Yeah, I think Josh can firsthand tell you smoking weed has made me indefinitely better of a person. Yeah, exactly. Like I hated uh, you before <laughs> weed, and I'm your best friend. And you yeah, hated I me. hated like, you, yo, bro. I'm like once I weed came in, I'm like, bro. I was like, yo, I used to like talk down, to, not not Daphne. I love Daphne. One but, woman. Yeah, Daphne is one of my favorite people. And she and I don't we don't talk often, we don't hang out like once a year. Report. But the way she like what she does for Josh, I cherish. Like, right. like yeah, she's a wonderful person. And that's Josh's drug. Josh, that's that, you know? Is that or that or masturbating? Weed, yeah, weed is honestly. my Daphne. <laughs> weed is my Daphne. I go yeah. pick her up. I, I take her, her back like, home. You, you wanna do something? Yeah, let's go see something. Come on, let's go. I'm not and gonna say it. no to you. And I think, you know, for me it's like I understand yeah. that people have ways of coping with things. So it's just awareness yeah. is key. And yeah. for people out there listening, you know, you're not alone. You should never feel like you need to resort to just a drug just to battle your demons. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, we are here to talk to people, you know. And like you said, looking down on somebody isn't the best key to, best way to go about things because you don't know what they're hurting right. from, right. What, they're, what they're battling. So I think it's a, a more of a... Our, our duty for us as people just to not you know pass judgment but just to pat, to give awareness right. or just stay aware of what's going on with people. Mm-hmm. and not that's not to say go out find your nearest homeless spot and tell everyone do, yeah, just don't do what you do but it's yeah. like yeah someone in your life you see you feel like you might fear for them you know like I've had friends interviewing like with me it's like that like I've you know and like, me being in the industry it's like it's very easy to caught up in the fast life and doing different type of drugs and all that stuff but it's like in the, the day you gotta accountability is key yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You, we, the only person that can count for you at the end of the day is you and if you don't have you to rely on, you have nothing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Also, I also want to say, you got to, knowledge of self is really important mm-hmm. in life. But more importantly, when you're doing drugs. Because, like, if you understand yourself, you understand you got an addictive personality. You understand, like, all right, 
I don't have the most self control. You sh- you might not want to do these things. Right. You know what I mean? Like I I smoke weed. I will never do anything other than weed cuz I'm deadly as- I'm afraid of that shit. I used to Josh will tell you I used to talk mad shit about weed. Like I, OD shit about I mean, weed. both of us growing up, we were like, I well, can, let's I, kick I away from that, that shit. Yeah. It'd be like that, though. Yeah. Let's yeah. kick Yo, away like, from that shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah nah, See, I I be active, nah. And, and I, then you grow up and you became an adult and yeah. you're like, well, you got to do some things. Yeah. And I understand. <laughs> and I understand. That's to say, like, I think I would very much enjoy doing cocaine. Okay. <laughs> Hell of a drug. Bro, you don't think you would? Dave Chappelle. Yeah, you don't think you would? I think anyone in this room, I think anyone in this building would enjoy doing cocaine. I mean, I don't cocaine is a hell of a drug yeah, for a reason because it's highly it addictive. For that reason, like you know the like I know myself, if I like it a little too much, I might I might not want to stop mm-hmm. rocking with it, you that know? Shit is not cheap. Yeah, that shit is not, not cheap. cheap. I'm going to be broken, I'm going to be addicted. <laughs> <laughs> Weird that shit that is, is a drug, terrible. Bro. Those are two horrible things right. to be. Broken like, combination. Yeah. yeah, don't do that ever, guys. That shit is not cheap. If, hey, unless you got the money then whatever. Designer drugs are designed for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For a reason. If you ain't got the bread, don't do it. Actually, you know, like so Josh don't smoke, but do you? Yeah. That's fine. yeah. And you know, how's Atlanta we? I need to ask you. I never Atlanta been to Atlanta. Atlanta weed is good. Atlanta weed is good. It's very easy to find. Um, they have it, it's hit or miss depending where you go, but for the most part, right. you know, it's very easy to find some good, good weed. In Atlanta. Yeah. and it's very good, easy to get a uh, copious amount of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. You know, I don't, I don't brag, but yeah. like I, I got my shit from Cali, but it's whatever. right. Yeah. That's <laughs> important. No, that's important because <laughs> a lot of people Jeez. like who just, who just want to smoke all that stuff, and like you said, not being a farmer, not knowing, yeah. it's like they just want to smoke, and they smoking either bad weed or smoking weed that could be laced. Because yeah. like it's part in time, when people were smoking weed in Atlanta, and they was getting sick. Yeah. They were getting sick, and now with the Percocets, they were taking Percocets down there, and they were dying. Yeah, damn. You know, it's happening now. There's, there's an opioid crisis in um, Alpharetta, oh. heroin. Mm-hmm. You know, damn. and it's not just heroin. It's the lean. It's the uh, promethazine, codeine, because that's like heroin, liquid heroin. And, you know, people can't get that because yeah. if it's a drought, they find other things, like you said. They find right. other gateways. So That's true. You, you, if you're going to indulge in advice, make sure you understand your advice and understand what's the good of the advice and the bad understand advice. Understand your body. Understand, in your body. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like I did, I did Molly once, and that was, I think doing Molly, like like uh, solidified my my lack of desire to do anything other right. than weed, because I did Molly and it felt amazing, and then afterwards you I felt, felt like, like crap, death for three days. Right, damn, yeah, felt like crap. Yeah, I come down, bro. The crazy. no, it was like I legitimately had suicidal thoughts. Yeah, because it's like. The thing about those that's drugs is like, yeah, nah, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. bro. Like, Damn. You, you see in the commercials with these pills, these black side effects be like suicide. Bro, I was like, yeah, yeah, it's real. Sounds like suicide, those diarrhea. I was yeah. at my yeah, nausea, yeah. <laughs> lack of anything. <laughs> I was at my old job, like at grinding my teeth. Like I could not stop grinding my teeth, and I'm over here fucking scooping cupcakes, and I'm like, <laughs> like yo, like, bro, sucks. yeah, it, it was horrible, and I was just like, nope, never again, nope. Weed is uh for all the shit it gets, it's natural and I know, you know, I, and that's I'm good with that. And right. I, yeah. Well, weed is becoming legal for a very good reason. Yes. Because it works. It works. Yes. The whole reason why it was illegal is because people couldn't tax it. It right. was illegal. That's so now it's like governments can take a hand of it. It's like, hey, we can make a business out of this. But then that's not to say like you like you say weed works and it does. It yeah. really does. But then like so does cocaine. So does heroin. I mean so if so does like this, oxys. Well, all those not things, to a degree of what we can do medicinally we can for do, people. We can do it uh it has less drawbacks, I think. Right. Right. But, or, but, or bad at all, any. Yeah. But besides the thing is, laziness. Uh, weed, his, and uh, the weed's effects are not as strong. The goods of weed are not as strong as like the goods of, of cocaine or Absolutely. the goods of, of heroin. Yeah. yeah. Just the, the the bads are stronger in heroin. Yeah. Cocaine, the drawbacks you know? are yeah. yeah. Whoa, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah like. Um. Just so, so no. Uh. But I will use this as a perfect time to bring up. Your new song. Uh, oh, shit. Hey. Yeah. hey <laughs> Look at yeah. that transition. Right. I like that. So let's talk about it. Uh, we, Addies, we, Addies is a song. Uh, it was first created by this guy named um, Local Tone. Shout out Local Tone. He's based out in Syracuse. He's from New York. And I heard it. Actually, it's crazy. When I put out El Patron, you know how SoundCloud has the algorithm to play a song similar. Right. Yeah. Literally, I, so, so what I do is I listen to my music and I let it play. You got it. And you got it. Really I, but I let the related tracks play through. Mm. So I think that the third or fourth track, it was that. And the beat was just, he's a producer. By, um, first, by, first lead producer, and he's also a composer and a singer. Yeah. So the beat was just the beat. 
and then the hook. Yeah. And the hook was very distorted. I really couldn't understand the beginning. But I'm listening to it. I'm reading. I'm very big on words. I'm very yeah. big on meanings for words. Cause you know how we came. Yeah, up. yeah, of course. So I, you know, if I don't, if I don't fit, if I can't vibe to it or feel it, it's not for me. Right. And some of that song is like it just screamed to me like this needs to have a concept. And I'm yeah. all about taking something from nothing and bringing it all together. And I mean, I, I love what you did with that song. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take a a quick break to to play the song, uh-huh. and we'll be right back. This is Addis featuring Tron Sagas and Suave by Local Tone. Hey. You listen to the Bronx Project. Yeah. <laughs> you said, nine, 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 three. Is it drugs here? Is it drink here? Yeah. Wish I would've told you, told you. Wish I had the courage just to tell you. Ooh. Wish I really know you, know you. Yeah. Got me wishing for you just to fall through. Ooh. Never fronted on you. Nah. You try to stun on me. No, I got a stun on you. Had me feeling so used. Yeah. That's what these drugs are for. Go ahead and do you. Ooh. Nowadays, can't press the soul. Uh, now it is like doing two of these, but you still can't score your role. Show uh, so you acting up. Uh, get me mad as fuck. Damn. Spending all night, going down. Hope me your nigga just blow up. They used to say, grow up, boy. You don't need a mess in these raps. I hope it was like you open for a check. And you wish that you get it. Now they see it, see the vision. Got a more commitment. Yeah, I got a more commitment. It's a new tune. Hope you get it. They know what I can take. I was patient, I had to fix it up, it was waiting, yeah, these addicts all for me, I'm screaming, fuck, sleep, sweet, these drugs are for us, man, we all rest in peace, let it breathe, so stand out of us, And I'm Earl Grey, and, and you still are Tron Sagas. Woo! Tron Sagas in the house. 
Hey, Tron Saga. But you Tron know, like, Saga's a done daughter. Smooth. Yeah, hey, you know. Okay. I got to come up with one, bro. That was hey, a, bro. that excites me. I'm really not getting anything <laughs> with my name. It's just fucking Earl Grey right now. <laughs> I had to fight him to, to change his name to Earl Grey because, like, we were here. He was really calling himself by his government. He was like, I'm Joshua. I'm Josh Valentin. They got to earn that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. You got to earn the right to call you by your government yeah. name. And then I thought I believe, about. I truly believe it. I do too. And I like, thought I about. No, the, no yeah. gas. I no, do. I, I thought about the Wikipedia that. page and I'm like, yo, I can't give them everything right now. Right. Because <laughs> so eventually they're going to dive in. You know, like, you know, there's some artists who have that acclaim. Like, yo, my name is my name. I'm going to rock with it. God, God bless you. You know, go for it. If you make your name brand, then that's crazy. But it's like. Not like, everybody's name is a brand. Like right. imagine, imagine how close you got to be to Drake to call him Aubrey. Yeah, yo, really? like hey Aubrey, he like, don't even fuck say Aubrey. You said. Yeah, like <laughs> he don't even say Aubrey. I would call him Drake. I would dead ass like uh, he he could be my best friend. Like yo, Drake, what's up? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm like <laughs> yo, yo, like you know, people still call Jay Jay Z. His name is Sean. Like niggas call him. Jay-Z. I haven't heard someone call this nigga Sean. Hey, and, no, man, yeah. yo, you call him Sean. I, I, the last time you talk, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, if yeah. someone says, hey, he yo, gonna Sean, snap, he gonna snap his fingers two times and you gonna be gone. He gonna grab him. Like, well, first of all, he's not gonna he's not gonna notice that you call his name because he doesn't even remember his name. <laughs> like, I, Sean. Go, I go by two letters yeah, right. J and Z J and Z that means you're somebody else like, <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah no like so you know that is just but you know so we're gonna talk about uh, some of you guys may have heard uh, from last week's podcast when we introduced Tron Josh uh, Earl Grey and Tron Sagas went to high school together go way back yes, like, way back. so what was that like that was fun, I guess. You had to, you had to deal with Josh. <laughs> Josh was one of Josh was one of the few people that kept me sane. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, because like at the end of the day, like we had Charles, we had Charles, Shamal. I saw Shamal and Eduardo and Miguel the other day. They oh, in nice. Yeah, in Brooklyn. Shout really? Yeah. I've been missing those guys for the longest, they, honestly. It's so funny. They said they tried to hit you up and said you've been ignorant. I was like, I don't believe that. <laughs> they haven't hit me up. I, my phone is the. Yeah. I got the same fucking number. I'm gonna go since ahead. 2007. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that if that's the truth. Josh a fake ass motherfucker. Oh, nah, nah, every time, nah, bro. Cause I'm a, I'm gonna be straight with you. You know how I said earlier in the in the episode that you gotta be honest. You gotta have a sense of self. You gotta know right. not just self. Right. I'm not a texter. Oh I, no, you're not. No, you are not. Like I, you fucking it's suck. so bad. It's so bad. Like, and I don't I don't do it maliciously. But what I do is, you text me. I read your text. I acknowledge it, and I do not reply. Cause when I see you, I'm gonna acknowledge it. Like I'm gonna talk about. I like personal conversations i like talking to people you know right i hate this when i'm on my phone i'm i'm i'm, I'm on Pornhub. <laughs> i'm on instagram gotcha. i'm on snapchat right. don't hit me up unless you're like you. like my girlfriend or you're like on the process to be my then i got to then it's a job and it's whatever <laughs> it's a job <laughs> don't respond <laughs> nah yeah. man i mean do, do, some do. people have that anxiety that they can't like reply back you know on the text right. or on the phone and they can't have a I phone do get, i do stuff. get uh get that i don't know if i'd call it anxiety it's just like when a lot when i have a lot of blue dots and like like people that I have to respond to, I'm just like, oh shit, this is too much. <laughs> I'm gonna just put my phone away. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, oh, I, 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 I was asleep. I was yeah, sleep. Now I don't gotta think about <laughs> right. it. I'm like, bro, it's fucking two p.m. And, and you know, was like, like I. And like I love that Josh and I are Earl Grey and I are like at the point where I don't gotta lie to him. Like he knows I saw his text. And no, I know I see red. <laughs> <Right. laughs> he knows I saw I know his text. I know you saw it. Anybody? Nah, it is it is the dad. No, yeah. I know you saw it. You well, know. other people, I hit him with the oh, I was asleep. Right. Oh, you know, like I. But with Josh, I'm just like, bro. I think it's more also like some people just expect convenience of response. Yeah, you know they, that that because you you got your phone, but in the day your phone is still for self. I also yes, I also it's, think that's to take that a little further. I think. Technology has made people a little too fucking full of themselves. Yeah, you, Where, that's like, true. You text me, you think you you I'm owing you a response, like an I don't obligation owe you. to reply right. back. I no, don't owe you a response. Correct. Right. Yeah. I, I, like you texted me, you did your part. That's it. Like that's it. That's <laughs> all you're con- in control of. Right. Like you can't expect someone to like, yeah. oh, they ain't re- someone that's made that. Yeah. Fuck. It's like yo, you don't know what someone is doing. Right. You don't right. know right. what someone's doing. I could have been in prison right now, and you're like, "Yo, yo, yo that's happened to me before." Oh, so that's why so you're that not gonna text ha- me not back. Not like the jail, but I hit somebody. I was like, "Yo, like," and I and the two days later, like, "Yo, my bad, I was hemmed up." I was like, "What oh, do you man. mean? What you do you feel mean? like a dick?" Yeah, I was like, <laughs> "Are you okay?" It's like, "Yeah, man, God, you know, stuff happened, but I'm good now." That shit happened with my bud guy. I was like, "Like he, yep, I hit him up. Yeah, that was the guy. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I hit him up, and I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> straight up, I'm gonna, like need, I'm gonna need that zip." 
And it, like he usually hits me, like he don't real hit quick. me back up, back up, like real quick. But he hit me up within the day. Right. He be like, all right, yo, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be free by by this. And then he hit me up the next day. I'm like, yo, bro, what's going on? What's going on? And no hit up. I'm like, yo. If you're busy, just let me know. Yeah, but like, like, that's cool. Like, 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 I ain't trying to bug you or nothing. I felt, but like, I felt like the people who be hitting me up yeah, and I don't respond. I understand. I'm like, yo, if you're busy, like, just let me know, but don't just ignore my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Only when you need something, right? <laughs> and that's what it's about, man. Oh, that's too funny. Uh, but yeah, but we gonna, high school, man. We gonna link with them. We gonna link with them. You know, that shout out Eduardo, shout out Shamal, shout out Miguel, shout yeah, out Chai no, Way. Yo, I miss the whole squad. Jesus, we love you. Yo, Jesus. And Jesus, Jesus, and Jesus you know. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Brian, the, we got to get him on here too. We got to get Brian yeah, on Yeah, I, I talked to Brian. He said that, oh shit. He said that he's totally willing, willing to do this because, you know, he's all about this type of, you know, spreading the word, be being down, from the, the origins of New York, you know, I'd be being down artists. I'd have all of them. Six people podcast? Yo, I got to get I don't a know you mixer. Wanna, yeah, I, was, I don't know if you're ready for all that, bro. Nah, I mean, man. Get, get Brian first. <laughs> yeah. Get Brian first, like Brian, and then we can bring the squad in here because them niggas, you, you would be here for hours. <laughs> bro, I, we would, it would be a four-hour podcast because Eduardo doesn't know how to shut up. Yo, Yo I I remember, I remember hanging out with them like four years ago, and I was like kind of a reunion for me. They were like, yo, what's up? And we hung out at uh, Miguel's place right. up in uh, Harlem. And we talked, we talked, and he, everybody got drunk but me because I'm smart. <laughs> Six are smart. That's and yo, is, this though. guy didn't stop talking. I remember he was like, bro, I killed somebody. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta go. Let's go, Chiki. <laughs> and that's my cue. What happened? Yeah. Nothing. I, I gotta go. <laughs> Yo, talk about good times. Good time. Shout yeah. out to Chai. I don't even know you, but I, I've been hearing your name for like eight years now. No, I mention Chai all the time yeah. because yeah, shout out to super you, talented man. Yo, Chai was the most probably the most secretly talented person I know. Every time he would come up with a new talent, like how do you fuck, how do you know this? <laughs> Yo, how do you do it? Yeah, like what, how you do it? Yo, like, it's, it's bad because when when way when our friend Way is like, yo, Ty, our Asian friend, yeah. yo, yeah, yeah, mind <laughs> you, this man is Asian. So this man is competing with a black man. So I'm like, yo, how do you know this shit? We knew something was going on, bro. Like when him and Chai were in the band, when we was like, what? like about, it's like a battle. Like him and Chai, man like, is on YouTube, bro. For example, Chai played trombone first, right? He is a reason why away with trombone, just to prove to him that he can play trombone with Chai. <laughs> this man, this man, went to play the whole different. He learned that shit on the fly. On the fly. <laughs> on the fly. Uh, you remember yes. that? Yes, yes, like, I do. He would come in early in the morning. Just I'm like, what are you doing? Wait, practice. Yo, like, you, <laughs> what are you practicing? Yeah, and Chai is like, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, and, and then I'll press him like, good job, Chai. Wait, black. Yo, he ever took an IQ? <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever took an IQ? IQ test? Yeah. I don't know. I, it'll be interesting to see him, see him take it. It'd probably no, be hard. Chai is a smart, I think he very take smart, IQ, smart dude. Yeah. But very at the same dude. time, he's super talented. I remember when my guitar used to be untuned, like, and I didn't notice it. And Chai was like, "Bro, let me tune your guitar." And I'm like, "You don't got a, you don't got a metronome. You don't got a, a chromatic tuner." He was like, "No, I got my ear." <laughs> and he tuned that shit perfectly. And I'm like. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Seriously. Like, I want I want to thank you, but I'm very mad that I can't do this. Like, yeah, yeah I'm envy. Mad. I'm envious at the of, height of your shit. At the height of my powers, like if I could if I could tune the like if I had the the first the E, the first E already tuned, I could, I could tune the, the rest. Other, I could get to mm. the other E. I could tune the, I could I tune the get, rest. Yeah. But uh if that shit was completely untuned, I could not retune. I know people like like Chai, I knew people who could just off like off rip just fucking doom, doom, doom. That's that like what time we do we not play. me I'm like, yeah. Yeah. like I'm like Ow. I think this is it <laughs> yeah, yeah, this sounds good let's yeah. go with this but nah high school was fun I remember music class we were just talking about this how in music class we were all in the same fucking class and then you came out with this fucking cover of Kanye West's uh, Love Lockdown. Yeah, of Love Lockdown. Uh, and that, I feel like that alone made me get into Kanye West because Kanye West now is probably like one of my favorite artists how old of all you, time. How old were you guys? We were like 16. 16, yeah. We were yeah. Young. That explains it because Josh, 16 or 17, came a huge Kanye and Kid Cudi fan. Like, yeah. Because 
You influenced Josh? Right, man, we influenced <laughs> each other because he put me on rock. Yeah, he yeah. put me on, yeah. Like, Josh was, put me on a lot of bands. He, he put me on a lot. I mean, like, yeah. him, him and our person, Ricardo, like, they would be in there going, him, Chai, and Ricardo would be in there for days just talking music. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I learned more about music as a whole because I already knew hip hop, yeah. R&B. Yeah. And, but I understood rock, but like, not to the degree of how they were, do, how they were into it. So when they got into it, I'm like, let me look up the killers, look up Jack White, let me look up so and so. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, there's a whole fast that I don't know. Yeah. So that class, that class was like basically her teaching us was it sight reading? It yeah. was something like that to where we had to compose something without speaking it. Yes. So we had to sit there and put together notes together without saying without using any words. I remember that day because that day I did not prepare. <laughs> yep. I did yep. not prepare that day because I was a total slacker in school. Because she for sure was going to be a quiz. He was like, I ain't no quiz. <laughs> and then he walked she, in like, it's a quiz. Oh! <laughs> I remember that. I don't know what happened, but I remember that completely. And I was like, oh shit, everyone's doing these fucking covers or whatever transitions and stuff. I was like, let me write something down. Right. Let me write something down. Uh, I took the guitar that was shit. In the back. In the, the one back. that was never tuned. Yeah, and in never tuned. Back. And I tuned it. And I'm like, all right, well. I got I, some for y'all. I got drop D down. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. And I made some shit out of nowhere. It was the and people were like, bro, you wrote that? And right. I'm like, and yeah. Improv was so real that day. We came with, that. we came with yeah, it. Yeah, I respect Both that. of we us improv the shit out of that class. I was like sitting there with Jalen and Roy. Because I had, I had Jalen, Roy, and somebody else. And I was like, mm-hmm. yo, what do y'all like to do? Man, I like this not. It was all about rap. I was like, we, that's not the project. Yeah. <laughs> we can't we can't rap. Yeah. And, I, and they were just like, no, nah, I'm gonna do this now. I was like, yo, what would the Kanye West? It's like, yeah, I mean, what's home? Like, what do you mean? I'm like, let's do Love Like Down. I like that. I'm like, y'all play the drums and then we'll go ahead and do it. And, I, and my mom like, don't sing, Frankie, don't sing. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm like, yo, this shit is so cause they cause they started getting into it. Like, melodic oh. as yeah, fuck. Like, I start, gotta sing. You gotta understand, like, you gotta understand the people I had in my group. Like, he would tell you, like, they are not, like, they're very musically inclined, but yeah. in class, you can not, like, niggas don't care about music. Yeah. But they love music. Yeah. Right? They love listening to music, but right. they are not musically, like, so, talented yeah. at all. To get them to really give an F about music was a big deal. And right. I was like, damn, we really here vibing. And this is when I was younger, so I really understand to how I am now. Yeah. And it just came out. And I, and that to me like now that I think about it like it's always been there but like I forget I forget these things because like yeah, I've been doing this shit that was yeah actually, that was actually question one in our uh, <laughs> in our questionnaire section in our uh, uh, half ass questionnaire question yeah, yeah. I love him so, like, uh, so Josh tells me that you he would not have known that you would be a rapper. Knowing you in high school. Nah, seriously. Nah, we Bro, did, we, so we, we were in music else. class and so then we just the, chill in the same table. Yeah, I played Yu Gi Oh! I, I was class president. So yeah. I, yeah. We did every T Club, all that shit. Mario yeah, I, was and, I was a nerd. Yeah. I, I'm a nerd. Same. I, same. We were I'm in the nerd, nerd fucking I, table. I, I can't wait nerds. for this shit to be done so I could go home and play Monster Hunter. Oh, yo. Yeah. Oh, if I'm being. I still got to finish Last Jedi. Like, I'm still watching. Yo, I have my. I just got my Switch and I'm still trying to fucking defeat Breath of the Wild. Nice. Yeah, it's fucking hard so, yeah that's what it was that's man. who we are that's who we are and what happened was yeah like originally like I was going to go into like well first it started off I was doing computers mm. that's what I was into right and that's funny because I'm in IT right. that's fucking funny as hell we did my squad I, we had my squad our freshman sophomore year so we we were like licensed IT people in the, yeah. in the school so I was gonna go around that then I did Mardi UN and we traveled because our school let us travel each year so we went to Egypt and we went to Egypt. I was there, and I never had enough money for any of this, bro. I don't even know how I got there to this day, bro. Like my parents, were like, yeah, we made it happen. I'm like, yo, that's twenty five hundred dollars. How did that come up with that? Yeah, exactly. Like projects. What happened? I'm like, I don't know what y'all the did, right? Like and that. I'm grateful. And to this yeah. day, it made me a person to be to want to be globally aware. So I was going to go into like um, international studies. I went to Mars for a little bit to study international studies. But what happened was the music kept coming back to me, and no matter what I did, it kept coming back to me, like. I would, and not say that I wasn't trying to get away from it. And then we had a homeboy, Maurice, who came up with fourth quarter, so fourth quarter. And from there, we, we're doing the, the freestyles in um, the club. It, yeah, it just started as like a cypher in the yeah. in the fucking lunch room. I was the you, you telling me about yeah. it. I, was, I, I barely rap. Yeah. Brian and Brian. Brian. Yo. Dude, the day that Brian came out with his rhymes, Yo, he, I'm like, the <laughs> fuck this came from? Where you been? Where does, where does where been has this been at? Chaiki was the first one. It was like, where have you been? Right. <laughs> we, we saw the, the improv was real. Yeah. Once again, the improv yeah. So those people, like, they inspired me, and you know, and I did this song with Brian. My first song I did with Brian was called "Faded." We did it, came back anthem. We did that back and forth. I was in high school, I was in college, and then when I realized that I was really do something, something right, is when the music was getting received. And to me, I'm out, I'm results driven. So if that's how 
like, back to your point about knowing self. Yeah. Before yeah. I didn't really understand what I was doing. I was making music, but then we did this song. We did a compilation, and I literally wrote a whole account about I watched my get shot. I watched my get shot, and like in, in their body, like arm and chest, I, over a basketball game. It was crazy. And then Atlanta watched me get shot, and I wrote a whole song about it called Rolling Days, and that was on a compilation. It was my only solo track on the project, and I thought the song was very very bad. I thought it was very very bad. And we had our Australian distro um, distributing our, our music, and that was the first project we did. And the people in Australia loved the music. They That's loved nice. it. They, That's they pretty thought, cool, they, yeah. They, they were telling me that they loved it. I was just like, okay. And from <laughs> there, I was like, so I don't know if it's the voice. And that's why I, I started to go more into deep into developing self and learning about Tron and Frankie and about yeah. who am I to where when I say these things or when I paint these pictures or give these accounts, the people are able to resonate with it. Yeah. And from there, I started doing music. And I like that you that you made a distinction between Tron and Frankie. Right. Because yeah. I feel like, I do feel like there's a distinction uh, between Steven and Miras. Right. Uh, like, I feel like uh, Steven, when I talk about Steven, I'm talking about like my, my childhood. Right. I'm talking about like who I who I was. When I'm talking about me as I'm talking about who I'm gonna be. Absolutely. And the same here. Yeah. Same here. Past, present, and yeah. future. Yeah. Right. That's same. why. I, that's also part of the reason why I would prefer people called me Miras because that's who you going. That's, that's who you coming. Yeah. That's yeah. who you coming. Yeah. Right. Well, be, yeah. That's that's pretty much you know the renaissance of building up who you are. It's pretty much that's you why know I, you start as Stephen, you know this kid that had a rough past, and then you progressing yeah. to who you want to be a, and where you want to be, and it's mirrors the same thing with me and Earl Gray, and then that's, that's I, a fly name by the way. Earl Gray, yeah. Yeah. Earl Gray. that's Yo, a fly let's talk kind about of tandem. Earl Gray. It's a fly tandem. Yo, let's like talk that. about how Earl Gray started. We were driving him and I, and then I'm like, "Yo, who's that rapper that sings with?" Uh, uh, Frank Ocean oh, Tyler Crater. And, Earl and Tyler Crater and I'm like Earl Grey right he's like Earl bro <laughs> he's like bro that's a T <laughs> I'm like yo that is a T but I, I like, like that name <laughs> but yeah. I like that name and yeah. that shit stuck with me the whole and time t- and, yeah. and I was like making a uh, SoundCloud page of me and uh, producing and stuff producer, that was his producing name at first to yeah. take over from where you left off uh, and I I like it I, I just think it fits with him Cause like Josh to me is a very, like Earl Grey. When you hear that name, you hear calmness. You hear like tranquility. Tranquility. And Josh to me is High the kind of guy. Josh to me is the kind of guy like biscuits. <laughs> does, <laughs> yeah, he just does not like things. Like things affect him. But Josh has always been a lot more in control of his emotions right. than I have been. So when he told me that that's something that he was entertaining, I was all for it. Right, yeah. Cause for me personally, I was always like a. Uh, not so much anymore, but I was a, definitely a slave to my emotions. Like if I felt, if you upset me, you could tell. If I was happy, I'm, I yeah, feel you. I'm the same tell. way. Yeah, if I was sad, you could tell. Like, I'm the same I, way, I yeah. could not hide my emotions. Right. Well, and Josh, it takes a lot to piss him off. Right. It takes it a really lot does. to take him off off his comfort zone. Right. With me, it's like all you gotta do is move me a little. Remember, I'm out there. I'm out of my comfort zone. Like, you know? My lifestyle might not make it since 15. He yeah. had it, you know. Like the bro, resolve sh- is there, bro. You can shoot me in the chest, and, and I'm he like, be like, ah, for real, bro. I like I'm I'm hyperventilating at that point. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, you feel and me? Josh is like, like, why did you have to go ahead and do right? That? Yeah, come on, man. Like, <laughs> so it, Earl Grey, you know, like that that just fits you really well. Yeah, that's Earl so Grey. funny because that's how Tron Sagas got made. Tron Sagas came about Tron. because. It's the same concept from Tyler the Creator's Tron Cat, and that's I guess our future inspired all of us because during that time <laughs> we got an our future, funny, right? Yeah. Right, because and not because during that time we had Facebook, and my name went from like Token Rosewood Smalls. Could we do like weird names on Facebook, and yeah. then went to like Frank, Frankie uh, Tron Cat Smalls. Yeah. So the Tron Cat name was alluring to me, but I was like, I can't be Tron Cat. So I went from like Tron Cat to Frank Tron. Like Frank Tron sounds like a, a dumbass like hot dog truck or, like, or tank. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I don't like that. So, like, <laughs> I was going to mad names. So one day, I, I, I knew Tron had to be the name. Like, Tron is fine. I like that. You know, Tron the movie, Tron De Chappelle. It was like, the future, Tron, bro. Like, right, Tron's the future. The future. Right. Yeah. Now we have Bitcoin. Now we have fucking cryptocurrency called Tron. I was about to ask you, like, what, what does Tron Sagas mean to you? Tron Sagas is electric <laughs> relaxation with storytelling. Nice. That is what Tron Sagas yeah. is. Tron yeah. is the electricity, the electrifying nature. When I perform, when I recite music, like, well, like you heard Patron, yeah. and then the Sagas is Sagas is literally storytelling, like with the Addies, yeah. like so like that, with like smooth, it's like storytelling. So I can give you the calm, I can give you the fire. I and, like you know, that. So that is what Tron, Tron Sagas is. It's like yin and yang of both. I want yeah. like like with Mirez, I've never spoken about this, but like uh, Mirez to me is, my last name is Ramirez, right. so uh, you take out the R.A. 
right? Yes. Uh, but mira is in Spanish. Um, to mirar means to see. To see, yeah. Yeah. So uh, when I when I'm saying mirrors, it's like watch me, All right? Like watch what I'm about to do. Nice. Because like I'm uh, like I came from such a dark place, All right? You know, like uh. Uh, non-existent dad abusive mom all that shit like all that crazy shit and I managed uh, through sheer force of will a little uh, a little feeling defeated and hitting rock bottom and feeling like I can't go anywhere but up right so watch me I love it true dad yeah. I love it mine's a T <laughs> it's more than T. See, but you know, that is now it's gonna be more than T because it's gonna be you. Nah, it's definitely me. No, yeah. there's, there's a whole meaning behind it. But I really love uh, having that as a. It start like I said. It started out Baron. as a producer name, and I was just producing music off of you know using Logic Pro, and I was using Ableton, and I had recently purchased uh, what do you call it, the machine micro and i was like you know learning Ooh. beats and stuff and i was just getting into it and i'm like you know i got kind of like an influence going into my beats like kind of like a kick cutty slash like james blake going on and i was like really going into it and i'm like you know what? i'm gonna try to sell my beats that never worked out by the way because i'm not good at advertising myself nah we, this is what's gonna happen we're gonna make the track yeah, I'm, I'm a, I, was yeah I was about to ask you i was gonna ask you if you could please push this man to to finalize a beat because, like, he, he has a lot of talent. And, it, like, it comes from the same vein where I am. Josh is a little moderately better. I was going to say a little, but moderate is maybe more than a little. I don't know like, middle is. ground better than I am. Uh, I, I'm i OD hard on myself. Like, All things right. need to be perfect. You know how when you say you, you released that song and it was on the compilation and you, th- you thought it was trash, yeah. but you still released it? Yeah. I would not have. Right. Like, I had no choice. That's cause, true. Because had I, because had I asked for the, I'd be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be no, like, no, bro. Like uh, my thing, I am insanely hard on myself. Partly because I know my potential. Right. I know I can create greatness. So anything that falls short of greatness feels incomplete to Why? me. Because you go into greatness if you, know, if you never grow into it. Boom. That's where I am now. Uh, Josh will tell you, and we've talked about it on the podcast before. Maybe a month and a half, two months before we actually released the podcast, Josh and I were recording episodes. Right. He would send me the episode, and every episode, I'm like, "Nah, that's not the one." Yeah, nah, that's Seriously. not the one. Seriously, it was nah, to the point in which we were like, kind of like, like scripting it down, and I'm like, really not comfortable with scripting things right. down. Yeah. I'm good with like, ideas, but like, not scripting. What we right. do now, because like I feel. Like uh, we don't script being now. Being guided is, is is important. So I'll write certain things. Structure down. is important. Yes, like I'll structure well, certain structure, things yeah. out, right. but it's not hard structure. Right. You know, like like uh, with this episode, we didn't talk. Uh, we didn't write anything down. Nah. But I wrote certain things down. Like I wrote uh, uh, like talking about your music, talking about uh, politics, talking about um, Atlanta and I wrote drugs. And yeah. drugs. We I knew wrote that would all happen. Those things down. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. We're smart like, here. I wrote We're those smart. things down, but but I let the conversation guide it. You know, and you had the highlighted points to make. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that not, feels and that feels better. And it's yeah, natural. it's organic. Yeah, yeah. It feels natural. It feels organic, and it feels right. But, you know, compared to like scripting something and writing say, like a script down that we can like rely on. Yeah, that's nah, not to say that. that's not to say it was like that in the beginning. In the beginning, we were trash. Uh, we've gotten a lot better at it. I think this episode. Is I'm actually very like it's not out yet, but I'm already very impressed with this episode. Yeah, yeah. I we love covered, this episode. We covered yeah. a fucking crazy range of topics. Yeah, they didn't like this one. Uh, yeah, they didn't <laughs> yeah, no, like no, this. Seriously, nah, yeah. they, they're really uh, gonna like But that's like my this point: one. is that you don't know how good you are Jeez. until you allow yourself to become that. Absolutely, and and I completely agree with that right. because, like. Like I said, I would not have dropped that song. I would not have gone uh, dropped the song like "Yo, Australians fuck with it." I would never known. I would never known. You're right. That would never. <laughs> yeah. You're right. That would have never. That would have never. Yeah. The forced me to do it. I was like, Yeah. This shit is wild. <laughs> I was like, Nah. <laughs> yeah. But then you dropped it, and you saw people receive them. Like, Yo. But that was whack to me. So imagine when I re- I release like something that's, good, something to that's good to you, right. good to me. Right. Yeah. And that's how I think too. It's that's like I'm gonna release this, but I'm not feeling comfortable. And I'm gonna tell with it. you. And then people give me, Yo, yo, that shit's fire. Right now. I still think this podcast could be a lot better. And it will get And better. that'll tell you. That tells you, like, where we're headed. Because, like, I think we're good now. I think Josh and I, we talk about it a lot. I think Josh and I, within the end of this year, are going to have at least 50,000 downloads uh, uh episode. Oh, hell yeah. That's very possible. Um, but I want, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be top 10 podcasts in general. I'm trying to be top 10 anything, honestly. Yeah. Period. Like, and, 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 and listen, Period. and I believe in my talent. Like, right. I, I believe in Josh. Josh knows, and, uh... What helps me is that Josh believes in me, 
more not more than I believe in myself, but I need Josh's belief. Simple confidence that you need yeah, to keep yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, because like my belief in myself, it wavers. Yeah, it, it's it like, it, 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 yes to to a certain extent it wavers, but it's more like <clears throat> like how do I phrase it? Like it's more like I believe in myself, but I could be lying. Right. Like you could like it could just be uh, fabricated. Right. But like, when someone else tells you, like, it's if, like false if, courage. If someone else says the same thing that you're saying, it has to be true. Yeah. And I yeah. keep hearing, I've kept hearing. Like, uh, I also, in, in, on top of podcasting, I'm a comic, like a comedian. Uh, I want to be like a stand up comedian. Right. Josh tells me, I'm, like, I know I'm funny, but when Josh tells me I'm funny, when Christina, who's another best friend of mine, tells me I'm funny, when all these other people are like, yo, you could do it. I'm like, well, might as well fucking do it. Where are we going to the Grammys with, with the parody right. you, album? You were right. Yeah. Going to the Grammys. Yeah. Some, sometimes I'm like, Steven, you could do better. Yeah. You could do better. <laughs> no, no, and I need that too. I need <laughs> honesty, bro. Honestly. I, I want more than anything. If I'm trash, I want, I need you to tell me I'm trash. Now, we all need that kind of criticism, yeah. but also positive reinforcement, which pushes us. Oh, yeah. Because when we're at that age where we don't need to hear you to put us down. We need you to give us the truth and tell us, hey, yeah. Don't fucking quit. Nah, if you're pushing me down, you got, you got something. That's fine. You got right. something. You got something. Just yeah. work harder. No, nah, but but here's the thing. Like, even if you even if you think I'm trash, I want to hear that. Yeah. Cause I want to hear what is objectively bad. Even if like it's objective, like I said, you, like what you may feel is not what I may think. But it's good to know what someone else might think is trash. Cause it only helps you build. Oh. Yeah. Definitely. So, it's a. It's been a great episode. Definitely, um, yeah. We we gotta do this again. We gotta That's do a part back. two. This, yeah, no, no, yeah, bro. Man. Whenever you want. Honestly, Literally, whenever you want. Whenever you want. Well, this is fantastic. It's the first time I ever premiered a song throughout the different entities. So and I'm glad is, you did. Right. I'm glad. I'm glad to be here. Talk about it one more time. It's Addis featuring myself, Tron Sagas and Suave, produced by Local Town, written by Local Town. Hit him with your Instagram. You can follow Twitter. me on Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud at T R O N S A G A S. That's Tron Sagas. That's one word. That's one word. You can follow me. I follow back. If we link, we link. If we don't, I'll see if you, you later. If you don't follow you back, don't be a dick about it. Just uh, like, just follow. Just. But I will follow you back because I ain't bougie. Nah, I'm My bougie. Girl bougie I'm not following you. Back. <laughs> it's like, why would I follow you? I don't know you. <laughs> this is uh, this has been the Bronx Project podcast. I'm Mires and I'm Earl Gray. Tron Sogs Dundada. Smooth. Gotta try and, one. And we out. We'll be back Bye. Next week. <laughs> <laughs>